the one and only Mose Allison, and there, swinging along behind him, the bassist Earl May, and Paul Motion the drummer, working in all genre and style, and Mose Allison in one of his compositions, Swinging Through the Night, that was What's With You, as only, as only Mose Allison can pose it. Mose Allison is out there in the night, but I just want to just check Marianne Sullivan's jazz calendar. Mose will be appearing at Mears Park on Friday, June 16th in Lower Town, St. Paul, Minnesota. And he'll also appear at the Artist Quarter Friday and Saturday, June 16th and 17th at 8.30. At the uh, Lower Town section of St. Paul, Minnesota, outdoors in that park, you know, in Sibley and Lower Town at um, 6.45 p.m., and that's a free concert. I know that uh, Mose is somewhere out there journeying through the night, and I thought I'd once again, as we usually do when I call him, is to find out what books and what uh, subjects in those books are intriguing. <laughs> Mose, welcome into Minnesota Public yeah. Radio in our, uh, what is it, our semi-annual book review? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, man, we, we, we do this all the time, every, every year, I think, just about. Well, what can you guide us uh, uh, for our reading in the summertime of 2006? <laughs> well, I tell you, I'm trying to get through an 800-page monster about, uh, it's called The Earth, <laughs> And it's uh, written by a geologist and an anthropologist, and it's all about tectonics and about how volcanoes uh, shaped the earth and how the continents came together and all that stuff. And it's all in millions of years, and uh, but it's real interesting, you know. And it, but uh, you know, everything happens on the ocean floor. That's uh, that's where everything starts. <laughs> But anyhow, it, that's by a guy named Forte, I think, and uh, and he's an Englishman, and uh, it's it's an interesting book. But I, I'm I'm I can only take like a, a several pages at a time because it's got a lot of technical uh, jargon in it and so forth. But that's one of the things I'm 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 about two thirds of the way through that. And uh, it's really interesting, but uh, I just did a, a, a novel. I just um, read a novel by a Turkish guy named Orham, Orham Pamuk, I think is the way you pronounce it. And uh, the thing about that was is there was something in the New York Times on the front page of, about two weeks ago that was just exactly what happened in this novel <laughs> that the guy wrote a couple of years ago. <laughs> So it's got a lot about the Turkish uh, the problems in Turkey and uh, all in the the background in Turkey. You know, there's been a lot of people uh, there, uh, the Russians and uh, 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 Armenians and all kind all all sorts of different people that have occupied the place and so forth. So that's interesting and. Uh, that's uh, uh, one other thing I read that was pretty nice. I thought uh, that I was uh, picked up just because it happened to be on the shelf. Uh, is It's by a Czechoslovakian guy named Harabal. I suppose, I don't know how you, whether that's the con uh, correct pronunciation or not, but it's called Total Fears. And uh, it's sort of a confessional type thing, and uh, it's it's interesting. It's, it's, it's about... Uh, the Russian occupation of Czechoslovakia and all that, you know, and a lot, lots of other things. He's 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 a very pretty interesting guy, you know. So that's that's about it for the time being. <laughs> well, that's quite an order for all of us, especially the eight hundred page. Tome. Oh, baby, yeah, that that thing is it's it's a monster, but but it's it's really interesting. It's it's really informative, you know. How timely! Yeah, with a couple of nervous volcanoes out there. Oh, yeah, man. There's, there's, you know, volcanoes shape the earth. You know, the earth is alive, and it's it's changing all the time. And uh, um, it, the volcanoes in the, at the bottom of the ocean are usually what uh, causes all that, it's, it's what moves things and all that, you know. 
Well, it's just a pleasure always to catch up with you, Mose, and and for you to share your uh, your uh, review of books and uh, what uh, really is stimulating your your brain and uh, all that you do to function, I suppose, as a composer, lyricist, uh, at all, storyteller, marker of the civilization we live in, and that tongue-in-cheek of yours, yeah. which is permanent, I think. Well, I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it cheers us up a lot, though you take us through some mighty bleak uh, and blue uh, zones, more or less. Yeah, well, you know, I, that's one of the things that people tell me, that I help them get through a hard times or something. But uh, So I, I was thrilled when I heard that, because it makes me feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. <laughs> Well, it'll be good to see you on Friday, June 16th at 6.45 p.m. at Mears Park, 5th mm-hmm. Street in Sibley in Lower Town, or at the Artist Quarter under the Ham Building at, um, oh, that location at uh, 7th Place. And, and uh, there we'll discover you in a nice, controlled, air-free, less-smoke environment at the Artist Quarter. Pleasure talking with you. Thank you, Lou. Thanks for traveling with us. Yeah, man.